Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing ADMATH. ADMATH for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did first uh, four parts of question number six from exercise 9.8 and the topic of this exercise is solving further solving equations which are related to further trigonometric functions like cos, cosec, sec and cot. Before I start remaining parts of question number six first I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is admath watch previous lectures after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic so let's start part e of question number six Part E is E six cos x plus six sec x is equals to thirteen. There are two trigonometric functions, one is cos and other is sec. So we will convert this sec is its reciprocal that is sec x reciprocal is 1 upon cos x is equals to 13 6 cos x 6 1 the 6 upon cos x is equals to 13 taking LCM of cos x cos into cos is 6 cos square x cos cancel to cos is 6 is equals to 13 6 cos square x plus 6 is equals to this cos x should be multiplied by 13 it will be 13 cos x so 6 cos square x minus 13 cos x plus 6 is equals to 0 this is this becomes a quadratic equation and this quadratic equation can easily be solved by using the method of factorization. What is factorization? We have to apply the middle term break method or we can do this, uh, we can solve this equation by using a quadratic formula. So 6, 6 is 36, 9, 4 is 36 and 9 plus 4 is equals to 13. So 6 cos square x minus 9 cos x minus 4 cos x plus 6 is equals to 0. Taking 3 cos x from first to sorry 3 cos x it will be 2 cos x minus 3. Taking minus 2 is common it will be 2 cos x plus minus minus 3 is equals to 0 so we have 3 cos x minus 2 and 2 cos x minus 3 is equals to 0 now we have two factors one is 3 
cos x minus 2 is equals to 0 and other is 2 cos x minus 3 is equals to 0. From here cos x minus 2 becomes plus 2 and 3 should be divided. So cos x is equals to 2 upon 3 assign the name of this equation is equation number 1 and over here cos x is equals to minus 3 becomes 3 and 2 should be divide. Now we have to solve both equations one by one. Taking equation number one that is cos x is equals to 2 upon 3. Cos is positive and you know cos is positive in first and in fourth quadrant. So x is equals to cos inverse 2 upon 3. Cos inverse 2 upon 3 is forty eight point two <coughs> and the angle in fourth quadrant is should be subtract this value from three sixty. So three sixty minus forty eight point two is three one one point eight. Hence, we have two solutions. One is 48.2 and other is 311.8. Taking equation number 2. This is equation number 2. That is cos x is equals to 3 upon 2. And x is equals to cos inverse. 3 upon 2 is what? 1.5. And if you solve, if you find the answer cos inverse 1.5 you will get math error in your calculator because the maximum value of cos in the domain from 0 to 360 degrees is 1 therefore not only 30 to 360 degrees at any angle the value of cos should be less than or equals to 1. So you have to write not possible. So we have only two solutions that is x is equals to 48.2 and 311.8 degrees. So, hope you completely understand part E. This is the whole summary of part E question number 6. I hope you completely understand. Move to part F. What is part F? Cot X plus 6 sin X minus 2 cos X is equals to 3. So there are 3 different trigonometric functions in this equation cot x, sin x and cos x. You know cot x, cot is the reciprocal of 10. So if 10 x is equals to sin upon cos then cot x is equals to cos x upon sin. So replace this cot
सॉरी फॉर दिस इंटरप्शन एक्चुअली माई प्रिंसेस माई डॉटर वेकअप दैट्स वाई आई वेंट ओवर देयर नाउ वी हैव कॉड एक्स सो रिप्लेस दिस कॉड बाय कॉस एक्स अप ऑन साइन एक्स प्लस दिस इज सिक्स साइन एक्स माइनस टू cos x is equals to 3 taking this sign as a lcm so sin x is lcm sin cancel to sin it is cos x sin into sin is 6 sin square x minus 2 cos x Two cos into sine is two sine x. Cos x is equals to three. So six sine square x minus two sine x cos x. Plus cos x, and this sine x should be multiplied by three, so it will be three sine x. But uh, again, we will have we are seeing two trigonometric functions, sine and cos. So sine and cos can we solve? Okay, let's move ahead. Six sine square x minus two sine x cos x plus cos x minus three sine x is equals to zero. If we if we rearrange the terms like this and take common from first two that is 3 sin x it will be 2 sin x minus 1 and if i take common minus 2 sorry if i take common cos x it will be 2 sin x minus plus minus 1 yes get it i have achieved it is factorized a very good question i like this 3 sin x Minus cos x and two sine x minus one is equals to zero. Three sine x minus cos x is equals to zero. Two sine x minus one is equals to zero. From here, three sine x is equals to cos x. we shift it minus cos x on other side or sin x upon cos x because here cos x into 1 so we divided cos by sin and this 3 should be divided by 1 and you know sin upon cos is 10 10x is equals to 1 upon 3 this is equation number 1 similarly over here sin x is equals to minus 1 should be plus 1 and 2 should be divided this is equation number 
नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व बोथ इक्वेशन वन बाय वन सी इक्वेशन नंबर वन टेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन थ्री दैट इज टेन इज पॉजिटिव एंड टेन इज पॉजिटिव इन फर्स्ट एंड इन थर्ड क्वार हैंस एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इन वर्स वन अपॉन थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू एटीन पॉइंट फोर करेक्ट टू वन डेसिमल प्लेस एंड फॉर थर्ड क्वार वी शुड एड दिस वैल्यू इन वन एटी दैट इज वन नाइनटी एट पॉइंट फोर हैं टू आंसर्स 18.4 and 198.4 correct to one decimal place now taking equation number 2 again sign is positive and sign is positive in first and in second quadrant so x is equals to sign inverse 1 upon 2 and sign inverse 1 upon 2 is 30 degree For second quadrant, we should subtract this value from 180. That is 150 degrees. Hence, overall solutions write in ascending order: 18.4 degrees, 30 degrees, 150 degrees, and finally 198.4 degrees. and this is our final solution so if i say that this question this part is the most interesting part of question number 6 part f a this is part f so it is not wrong i can say this part is the most important and most intelligent part move to part g What is part G? Three cot x is equals to two sin x. So first, we have to write cot x as cos x upon sin x is equals to two sin x. Then three. cos x this sin x should be multiplied 2 sin x it would be 2 sin square x or sin square x can be write 1 minus cos square x because sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 so sin square x should be 1 minus cos square x it's equals to 3 cos x 2 ones are 2 minus 2 cos square x is equals to 3 cos x or shift these two terms on right hand side it will be 2 cos square x plus 3 cos x minus 2 is equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by using middle term break method 2 1 the 2 and 2 to the 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 4 cos x minus uh, 1 cos x minus 2 is equals to 0 taking 2 cos x so cos x plus 2 taking minus 1 cos x plus 2 is equals to 0 so 
टू कॉस एक्स माइनस वन एंड कॉस एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर वी हैव कॉस टू कॉस एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड कॉस एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फ्रॉम हेयर कॉस एक्स इज इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव हाफ वन अपॉइंट टू एंड असाइन द नेम ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन फ्रॉम हेयर कॉस एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस टू बिकम्स माइनस टू असाइन द नेम इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू सॉल्व बोथ इक्वेशन वन बाय वन फर्स्ट टेकिंग कॉस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टू इट इज पॉजिटिव एंड कॉस इज पॉजिटिव इन फर्स्ट एंड इन फोर्थ क्वार्रेंट सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस इन वर्स वन अपॉइंट टू विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्रीज and for fourth quadrant we should subtract this value from 360 degrees so 60 degrees and 300 degrees taking equation number 2 cos x is equals to minus 2 x is equals to cos inverse minus 2 and you know the minimum value of cos is minus 1 cannot go beyond minus 1 therefore your calculator will give you math error and we have to write not possible or you can write solution of this equation is not possible hence we have only two answers of this equation that is x is equals to Sixty degrees and three hundred degrees. Final solution of part G. So hope you understand an other interesting part. This is the summary of part G. Move to last part. That is part H. What is part H? Twelve sec x minus ten cos x minus nine tan x is equals to zero. Very easy. What is the reciprocal of sec? Is one upon cos x. One upon cos x. And what is the formula of tan x? Sine x upon cos x is equals to zero. Taking LCM of cos x from the whole, cos cancel to cos twelve one zero twelve. Cos should multiply by cos that is ten. Cos square x minus cos cancel to cos nine sine x is equals to zero. Minus ten, and you know what is cos square x is one minus sine square x. Minus nine sine x plus twelve remains twelve, and this cos x multiply by zero. Anything which is multiply by zero is always zero. Ten one zero ten, 
माइनस टेन माइनस माइनस प्लस टेन इंटू साइन स्क्वायर एक्स टेन साइन स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस नाइन साइन एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व इज इक्व टू जीरो टेन साइन स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस नाइन साइन एक्स ट्वेल्व माइनस टेन इज प्लस टू इज इक्व टू जीरो सो दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ पार्ट एच रिड्यूस टू अ सिंगल टेक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन एंड दिस इज वॉट आई नीड इट अप्लाई द मिडिल टर्म ब्रेक मैथड टू टेन ज ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर ज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फोर इज नाइन सो टेन साइन स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस फाइव साइन एक्स माइनस फोर साइन एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्व टू जीरो टेकिंग फर्स्ट टू कॉमन इज फाइव साइन एक्स सो टू साइन एक्स माइनस वन टेकिंग लास्ट टू माइनस टू 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 ज फोर साइन एक्स माइनस प्लस माइनस टू वन ज टू इज इक्व टू जीरो सो टू साइन एक्स माइनस वन एंड फाइव साइन एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्व टू जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर टू साइन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्व टू जीरो एंड साइन एक्स माइनस वन बिकम प्लस वन एंड टू शुड बी डिवाइड असाइन द नेम ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड फॉर दिस फाइव साइन एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्व टू जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज दैट साइन एक्स इज इक्व टू माइनस टू बिकम्स प्लस टू एंड फाइव शुड बी डिवाइड assign the name of this equation is equation number 2 solve both equations one by one for equation number 1 this is positive and sign is positive in first and in second quadrant so x is equals to sign inverse 1 upon 2 this gives you 30 degree and for second quadrant this value should be subtract from 180 that is 150 degrees hence we have two angles 30 degrees and 150 degrees and now for this equation number 2 again we are seeing positive value and sin is positive in first and in second quadrant so x is equals to sin inverse 2 upon 5 What is sine inverse two upon five? Twenty three point six. Twenty three point six. And for second quadrant, this value should be subtract from one eighty, and the answer is one fifty six point four. Correct to one decimal place. Hence, overall answers in ascending order. X is equals to twenty three point six, then thirty, then one fifty, and then one fifty six point four. this is our final answer hope you understand this part completely the summary of this part is this is the summary of part h so hope you completely understand but if you have still if you have any problem write in comment box i will help you i promise i will help you i will take some time but definitely i will reply you what next
in this exercise nothing so today we finish the whole question 6 and the exercise has finished we did each and every part of exercise 9.8 each and every question each and every part just like my practice what next the last exercise that is further trigonometric identities exercise 9.9 .9. how many questions in this exercise six question i promise i will do each and every question each and every part of this exercise as well so this is what we have today so if you like my videos and if you think that my videos are satisfying you are helping you a lot kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos spread my videos as many as you can good luck for next lecture